McGee going to have uh, a problem on his hand getting that fullback job back next year. Cozy showing his ability to bounce off that first tackle and go for more yardage. He's strong at 240. Quarterback Sims on the call. Second and goal from the three. Cozy again over the left side. Stacked up at the two-yard line. Gained about a yard on the play. Maybe a little more than that. Good job by the defense that time in their goal line, their 6-5 goal line now coming across uh, very, very strong that time. They were able to crowd the line of scrimmage and uh, get Cozy down on about, uh, oh, the one or two yard line. Ball is just outside the one. Third and one, Garfield. For the touchdown. They trail it 10 to nothing. Same formation for Sims, the quarterback. Spins. Cozy, the ball carrier, hit outside the uh, goal line and shoved back by the defensive right side of the Firestone Falcons. They were waiting for the fullback that time. Well, it was a good looking fake by the quarterback Sims after the handoff. Bob, uh, it was an excellent fake. And then Sims tried to uh, move uh, to kind of keep run the ball on the keeper to the left and uh, he didn't fool the defensive end on that side who grabbed him and held him up in the pursuit of course caught up, uh, caught up and uh, Sims down on about the three yard line well we're going to keep it right here so there's a loss on the play of a couple of yards a host of Firestone Falcons hit Cozy and shoved him back, and they also hit the quarterback who had the football, as it turned out. Well, the perimeter to defense was very impressive in that they didn't go for the fake. They stayed home, so to speak, and as uh, the people inside were making sure that Cozy wasn't, wasn't going to go across the goal line with or without the ball, the defensive end and the outside linebacker on the side that Sims ran the football to were waiting for him, and they stood him up and waited for the pursuit to catch up and brought uh, Sims down. An excellent play by the end and outside linebacker uh, for the Firestone Falcons on their defensive right side. Garfield uh, figuring that Firestone would expect the handoff to go once again to the fullback Cozy, who's shown us something on this drive, that's for sure. And remember, he's playing in a reserve role. He's a sophomore. Cozy playing in place of the injured Matt McGee, sprained an ankle and is uh, is on crutches. He's here for the ball game today. I'm sure Matt would love to be in there, especially at this time uh, with the ball close to the goal line or with his team trailing. He certainly wants to contribute. Not very happy young man right now. And 437 remaining, 432 remaining in this third quarter. Okay, on fourth down and goal from the four. Wideouts left and right, two on the right side for the quarterback, Sims. Sims straight back to throw, looking right, rushed, throws it toward Martin, batted away, and incomplete in the end zone on a good defensive play. And that was uh, uh, running back on offense, Mike Stubbs, over there to make the play for the Firestone Falcons. And also give credit to Larry Brunson, uh, Bob, the defensive uh, end uh, for the uh, Falcons who came through and put a heavy run on Sims, causing him to throw the ball much more be uh, before he wanted to. And again, the, the Rams drive the ball a long way, but come up empty in a very, very big play for the Falcons. Ball was accurately enough thrown, though he had to get rid of it a little earlier than he wanted to, as you pointed out, Bill. But Firestone is held once again. Second time they've done that in this ball game. Held Garfield on a pass play in a fourth down situation. And here's the handoff to the running back who crosses the five and falls forward to about the seven-yard line. The give was to the fullback that time, Davis, who scored the Firestone touchdown in the second quarter. Boy, for Garfield to drive the ball 65 yards here in the beginning of the second half and to come up empty as far as the scoreboard uh, is concerned, a real big plus for the Falcons. But Firestone here, Bob, not out of the woods by any means of the imagination. They have the ball deep in their own territory. They're going to have to get it out of here. Just under four minutes remaining in this third quarter. 10 to nothing. Firestone on top. Here's Buckner, the quarterback, handing off. And the, excuse me, running back found it tough going over the left side as the Rams are waiting for him. A gain of about a yard, and that's all, to about the eight-yard line. It's going to be third down at about uh, five for Firestone. Martin, the inside linebacker, along with Chris Palmer, a very fine uh, tandem playing that inside linebacker position for the Rams. They do an excellent job scraping up and down that line of scrimmage. Uh, 
filling the gaps up and uh, taking the ball carriers down. Their defensive linemen do a good job of occupying the offensive line, not permitting them to get to the inside linebackers. A team concept defense. Randy handing off. Nothing doing as the Rams met the ball carrier at the line of scrimmage. No, play, no gain on the play. It'll be fourth down coming up as Nate Moore was unable to find any running room that time. Well, he ran into a 230-pound senior, Stan Hoiston, who said, nothing doing, friend. And uh, the Rams now, Bob, uh, forced uh, Firestone into a fourth down and punting situation from deep in their own territory. So the Rams figure to get excellent field position out of this. Down to two and a half minutes remaining in this, the third quarter. Still 10 to nothing, Firestone. They've got a punt out of their own end zone, though. Here's the punt, taken at the 39-yard line by Lewis, inside the 35, the 30. As he runs toward the sideline, he's down at about the 29-yard line. So Garfield sets up offensively in great shape here late in the third quarter once again. Lewis, who has a lot of speed. Yeah, Lewis the kind of young man who can break it for you, and he does an, he's a versatile athlete to find the split end, a uh, young man who can uh, really cover ground once he catches the football. But the Rams, Bob, uh, right back in business here on the Falcon 29-yard line. Malik the putter and a good job on the return that time by Thomas Lewis. They monitored at the 30-yard line pass intended for Lewis, incomplete inside the 25-yard line, a little ahead of him and incomplete. As so that led him a little, a little bit, bit too much. Too much of a lead that time. Lewis uh, diving, uh, reaching as far as he could, trying to bring that ball in, but to no avail on that play. Just over two minutes remaining in this third quarter. And the clock stopped, of course, on the incompletion. Garfield with the ball at the 30 of Firestone trailing it. 10 to nothing. Two wide outs on the left side. Anderson over there and White. Martin on the right side. Or Lewis, rather, on the right side. The give is to Martin. Inside the 30 to the 28, maybe the 27. Hit and shoved back by that tough Firestone defensive line. Hey, one thing about the Falcons, uh, they pursue very, very well to the football. Their defense, you have to give them credit. Uh, they do a nice job of neutralizing the people playing over them and locating the football and taking excellent pursuit angles to the football. And uh, that by doing so, they've cut off uh, some of those inside uh, lanes that the Ram runners uh, like to look back to and see if they can cut up into the seams. The seams are being really cut down nicely by the pursuit of the Firestone defense. Well, Firestone is bent a little bit defensively, but boy, when they've needed the big defensive plays, they have come up with them so far today. Two wideouts on the right side this time as Sims goes back to throw on third and long. He's rushed. He's hit and he's dropped back at the 35-yard line. Well, Farron Murphy over there again. Uh, uh, in on that, along with uh, number 55 for the uh, Falcons, Bill Duncan, just a young sophomore playing that defensive tackle. And Duncan had a great game against North uh, two weeks ago. So both Murphy and Duncan doing a good job of rushing the passer and sacking them on a big third down play. Well, the loss it was about seven yards, which will bring up third and about 15. Or fourth and about 15, rather. It was a third and eight. Now it's fourth and 15. And Garfield is going to punt it away, apparently. Ball at the 34-yard line. And they set up to punt. Anderson's punt is high. Looks like a good one. Hits at the 15, bounces inside the 10, and is down close to the five-yard line. Good job by Lewis of getting that ball high in the air and hitting it around the 15-yard line. When you've got that kind of a situation, your chances are, uh, when, it, when they let it hit the ground, it's a pretty good chance you're going to down it deep in the opponent's territory, and they did that a pretty good job of that. What Anderson did very nicely, Bob, was when he received the pass from center on the punt, he waited for his uh, people going downfield to get down there because there was no rush on him and then punted the football, allowed his men to get down inside the 10-yard line and once the ball bounced to get on it, not allowing it to get in the end zone. A very, very fine play, and that's excellent execution by the Rams. Okay, first out at the 5-yard line, and here's Buckner 
handing off up the middle to his running back, the fullback, Davis, and he gets out to about the 10-yard line. Straight ahead, David Davis, the fullback. It's a good uh, five, six-yard gain on the play by Davis, and uh, boy, I'll tell you, that's the end of the third quarter. Already at a fast one with a lot of running uh, in that third quarter, a lot of it by Garfield, but again, they come up empty. We're at the end of three here at the River Bowl, and it's still 10 to nothing. Firestone will be back with more in a moment. Don't look now, but before you know it... First half leads it 10 to nothing over the Rams, and the Falcons have the ball at their own 10-yard line with a second and five coming up. Big series for the Falcons, Bob. They'd like to get a first down or two and get out of this uh, trouble they're in back on their own 10. Sophomore Julius Griffin wide to the right. His quarterback Buckner throws and hits him. Griffin at the 15 across the 20. First down, Firestone at the 21, maybe the 22-yard line. Gain of about 12 yards on the play. I'll tell you one thing, Coach Fortner has thrown caution to the wind. He has uh, really uh, come through with some big plays today. That, I believe, is a very key play in this football game because uh, that uh, enables them to get a first down, get a little breathing room. Now they're up. To